The Independent Women's Forum faced harsh criticism this week over its views on gun rights for women. And that criticism came from one of the largest women's magazines in this country, Glamour. Here with more is Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich. Katie, thanks a lot for joining us. So what exactly did Glamour say about the IWF's position on guns? Well, IWF uh, issued a statement essentially saying that limiting magazine, ammunition magazine capacity for stay-at-home mothers or women who are home a lot with their children and not their husbands puts them in jeopardy. The example cited was last week the, with the Georgia case, the woman who had five rounds in her handgun, shot the intruder, and he didn't walk away dead. He walked away alive. And so Glamour magazine got this statement and re responded by saying it was strange and that it was only intended to uh, and it, um, it cause problems and, and antagonize the debate rather than add to it. And In so fact, it we have that. Sorry, Katie, to interrupt you, but I do want to show you yeah. exactly what Glamour's uh, deputy editor uh, mm -hmm. responded. Here it is. Please unsubscribe me to your strange, sensationalizing polemics. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So right. not terribly receptive to the idea that some women feel as though uh, they need a gun to protect themselves and for empowerment. Right. Well, her name is Lauren Linotti, and she is actually the deputy uh, editor at Glamour Magazine. And she not only said that it was strange, but says that it was used for maximum agitation. And considering that Glamour Magazine actually um, get, dives into political topics all the time, it seems like they would want both sides of the debate. The women are the fastest growing demographic among gun owners. More women than ever are interested in having concealed carry permits and defending themselves in their homes. And the IWF statement came from someone who is at home a lot because her husband is overseas fighting for my freedom and theirs. Um, and so she feels like she needs more than five bullets in her handgun uh, to defend herself and her two young children. And so this is something that Glamour Magazine didn't seem to be interested in, despite, you know, they run crime stories in their magazine all the time. It seems like they'd be interested in, in at least the side of the story where women are willing to defend themselves in their home with a firearm. It's, it's hard to see what the argument against arming women is. I mean, look, you can look at the statistics. The FBI gathers them every year, the uniform crime statistics. Women commit basically zero violent crime against strangers. They're just not mm -hmm. prone to shooting up shopping malls. Giving guns to women seems like a a very low-cost way to empower them and to equalize uh, right. the situation. Why would you not be for that? Well, and, and the, that's the question about Glamour Magazine, is whether you want to believe it or not, women are not as strong as men, and guns serve as a great equalizer when it comes to home invasions. Um, women who stay at home often have very young children. It's difficult to make sure that they're in a safe place while you're defending them and yourself against an intruder, and a firearm is the easiest and fastest way to make sure there is no harm done to yourself and your children. I met a woman two years ago at the National Rifle Association annual meeting who used to be very anti-gun until a man broke into her son's bedroom at night, and the only, th only thing she had to fight back was a bottle of kitchen spray and a knife. And so she now understands the importance of being able to defend yourself and your children inside your home. And it's unfortunate that Glamour Magazine isn't willing to at least take a look at that and, 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 and as a serious um, option for home defense and self-defense rather than calling it strange and used for maximum agitation. And you make a great point, lest anybody think that Glamour is just about lip gloss mm -hmm. and, you know, tips for being sexy. They do broach all sorts of controversial and political issues. But uh, Katie Palovich, thanks so much for Thank parsing you. it all for us this morning. Yep.